I'm pretty sure I did this in class, uh, second or third day, whatever, but just to make sure you have the access to those notes or have the access to the actual steps. How do you find the slope of a very complex function uh, without having to type a bunch of buttons? And what you would do is use the y equals, and I'll just go ahead and make up a function, let's say 9, um, I don't know, 9x to the third minus 6x squared just to be over with and that's the function that you want to find the slope of I know I use it in a stat plot as if I'm going to graph it but what I really did was I just added a formula or a function to the y1 answer and so to get back to the other part you just go to quit which again is in blue so it's second mode and what I will do is go to vars which is like variables and I'll go over to y variables and I want the function y1 and what I can do is do y1 of let's say I'm looking for the slope from 6 to 8 so I just put the 6 in there and what this does is it takes the function that I just typed in for y1 and it evaluates it for the value of 6 enter and so that's the answer at 6 and then I can go use the recall button which is the up arrow to highlight the y1 of 6 and let's say I said 6 to 8 so I'll put the 8 there and that of course is the answer for 8. Now on most of the stuff you're going to do your answer is going to be ugly so what you're going to do is just simply use the recall function for this so this would be my second y because remember that's my x's this is my y so it would be second y enter minus and then go up and cover the first y enter and then divided by of course parentheses 8 minus 6 which of course would give you the slope of what you're looking for. So again, that vars thing allows you to do the variables. I think there's another way to do it where you can use the shortcut function, which is alpha F1 and actually go over. Cause again, these are shortcuts for your function. I think it works even on the ones I sent home with you that you can go over and there's your Y variables there that you can also select from. So however you would do that, that would be up to you. But again, I think it does make a lot of the computations a lot easier to deal with.